Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's just pray before I say anything. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you. I just ask that you open our ears to hear and our eyes to see, Lord. Give us understanding in our heart and let your voice speak through me unto whoever is listening. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, uh, hey, Justin Bieber or anybody who's watching uh, any celebrity or those who want to be a celebrity or anybody, right? Uh, well, I wasn't thinking to uh, make this video to uh, Justin Bieber or, you know, I didn't, I didn't intend this, but, you know, I just happened to read an article about it, about, like, uh, uh, Justin Bieber that, uh, you, you know, took, made a cross in your eye or something like that, like, a, had a tattoo of your, over your eye, uh, close to your eye, um, exactly find that you still believe in Jesus Christ and that you're still continue trying to fo follow him and walk this path, right? And uh, I wasn't going to say anything. I was just like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. I'm not, I didn't know that you're a Christian. Uh, anyway, just, uh, you know, passing by that news. And uh, I don't know, the, the Lord just kept on, you know, bringing time to my heart. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm making this video. Okay, so don't think I'm, oh, I'm just trying to, you know, gain fame through you. No, I'm not trying to do anything like that. I don't care. Okay, I just do what the Lord wants me to do. Because if I'm trying to, you know, just gain fame, fame and stuff like that, then I'm not a servant of Christ. I'm not. Okay, I don't even, I don't even want to say my name because I don't want my name to, to go before the Lord, you know, and stand be between Jesus and you. Okay, so I just, I don't even want to do that. And uh, that's why not many people really know my, my name or really know who I am because I don't want to share that stuff. Okay, it's not about me. It's not about them you it's not about it. it's about just Jesus you know and what he said and what he wanted me to do and what what he wants you to do so uh, on that I just want to give you some advice this and stuff like that and and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna it's not gonna be smooth I don't want to please men over pleasing God because then I'm not a servant of Christ as Paul said right so uh, I don't want to be like other pastors hiding the truth or other preachers hiding the truth from the people just to try to please them and say everything that pleases you okay then that, that those are they're gonna be judged according to uh, what they've done because they didn't fear God but they they, they wanted popularity okay I'm not like that I don't want to do that you guys just want to strictly speak whatever is written and then whatever you know whatever the word teaches and whatever the Holy Spirit wants me to speak I want to do that Okay, uh, now, uh, first of all, when you're trying to be a rock star or when you're on the stage and everybody's like yelling at your name and, 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 and just going crazy and yelling and, and screaming out top of their lungs, you know, you know what that is? That's actually worship, okay? Whether you acknowledge it or not, uh, it is a form of worship. And they're not worshiping God. Okay? They're worshiping the person there. And it's called an idol worship. Okay? Idol is not just demons and devils and false gods. It's not it's not some it's not just some statue. Okay? It's whatever an object, it could be a rock, okay? Whatever an object that is being admired and clapped onto and then being being praised and, and and called out for, that's an idol. So from this biblical point of view, anybody who wants to be worshipped, okay, or, or is standing on a stage, you know, for the fame and the for the fans or whatever reason, okay, they it is you're standing between God and man okay you're like God is right here and and and, and you're on top of on, on front of him and being worshiped instead of God that's what Satan wanted okay that's why Satan fell from the kingdom of heaven because he wanted to be worshiped as God and that's exactly what people are striving after some form of worship from people, some form of praise. You don't have to stand on the stage 
or anything to be worse. You could be trying to be worse than praise at your workplace, okay, or by your parents or by your, you know, teachers or, or whatever, anywhere, you, any, any, by doing anything. You could be trying to pray for magic to look cool. You're, you're trying to dress up and be pretty and look nice because in reality, you want to be lifted up and exalted. And every single thing is pride. I'm, I, my past, I wanted to be a rocker. That's, I wanted to, all, I wanted uh, fame, money, and so I can sleep with many girls or, or, or marry the hottest girl, whatever. And, and, you know, I was so vain, I was so blind. Until God took me out. I, actually, my hair was very long. It was bleached yellow, red, whatever. I, I used to dress, like, try to dress the coolest clothes according to rocker style. You know, like the baggy clothes at the time, dark clothes, you know, just whatever, cool ideas, whatever. All these kind of stuff. Okay, I try to appeal so that I can be looked upon. Okay? And I'm honest, I was like, I was like, that. I was seeking my own self-glory and the lust of the world, whatever, money, fame, cigarettes, drugs, alcohol, a partying, you know, sleeping with girls, and just, I was, I was all after that. I was really after that. And I know in many people's hearts, that's what they're looking for. I was a Christian, I, I believed in Jesus, but does that make you a real Christian? No. Does it make you go to heaven? No. I found out later, okay, the real truth. Okay, not, Bible, Bible clearly says that uh, Matthew 7, uh, 21, okay? Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven, okay? Are you doing the will of the Father? Probably not, because you don't even know what he wants you to do. Okay, you're not even seeking him like with all your heart. How can you hear from him? You cannot. Okay, it just doesn't work that way. I used to be like that. I'm not. I'm not judging anybody. I'm not judging Justin Bieber or whatever celebrity life. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just stating the fact. If you're not looking to do what God wants you to do, you're obviously not going to be doing it automatically. You're not going to be doing it. <laughs> I'm telling you, this kind of thing, you need to really seek God and find out your real, whatever, calling, your purpose, your, your goal in life. You really need to go seek that. You, and you can only seek that by seeking God. And praying, fasting, and reading the Word, there's no other way. And many Christians aren't fasting. Many Christians aren't praying. Although they're praying like maybe a minute a day, or some, some less, sometimes they skip days and days and days and they don't pray, they don't read a word. You know, and how can you overcome sins in that kind of way? Cannot! It's just not possible. And they're like, oh, why can't I get out of my sins and my problems and my depression and whatever, my anxieties, why, why, why? Simply, you're not seeking God enough. I used to be very depressed. I used to be in all those sins until I gave myself my dreams and my passions to exalt myself, until I gave that away, totally, I couldn't be free from anything. And now I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm not depressed no longer, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't go sleep around girls, I don't have lust, I don't watch porn, I don't, I don't not, not to glorify myself, but all these things are possible because I gave myself to the Lord and He changed me everywhere in these aspects, okay? It's not because what I did really, but it was the grace of God that, that worked through me as I gave myself available to Him, okay? Not really me, it's the Lord that did His work because I made myself available to Him. So what you really need to do is spend time with God every day you know, like how Daniel in the Bible, he sought God three, day, three times a day. And this is really what we really need. But nobody, just all of us, the great man of God, Dave, Daniel, all these three friends, they didn't, they didn't bow down to nothing. Oh, they didn't, you know, um, you know, bow down to any idols. Okay, they didn't, 
it was only possible because they had a real prayer life with God. Okay, Jesus Christ himself says to the disciples on the Mount of Gethsemane, pray that you do not fall into temptation. And these guys were praying, the disciples and Jesus were praying about one hour. But the disciples fell asleep because, you know, they could, this is just humans, you know, they got tired. They're falling asleep and Jesus comes in like, what, can't you pray one hour? The spirit indeed is willing, your, your spirit really want to follow God, but your flesh is weak, so pray that you don't fall into temptation. Jesus Christ says it, okay? Very important thing. Um, if I don't pray two hours a day, minimum, oh, I'm gonna, I will fall into sin. No questions whatsoever. My flesh will overcome the spirit, okay? Bible says two things are fighting. Your flesh is fighting against the spirit. And your mind is in between battling, oh, whom shall I follow? And who wins is the stronger one. Okay? The stronger one. If you give yourself to the fleshly thoughts, to the world, you can never overcome sin. It's impossible. It's impossible. You need to be dead to the world. You need to be crucifying your flesh every day to follow God. It doesn't take, you know, one day decision. It takes every day decision to follow Christ. And you need to follow the Holy Spirit. You need to get baptized in the Holy Spirit. I can pray in two hours in, in, in the Spirit, in, in tongues. Okay, because that's God's gift. That's the first gift that God gives to the believer. These guys shall follow those who believe. They will speak with new tongues. They will cast out demons in my name. They will they'll lay hands on the sick. They shall recover. Okay, Mark 16, 17. Right? It's because the, the foremost gift is a prayer gift so you can spend time in the Lord. Because our flesh is very, very weak. You cannot pray one hour possibly in words every single day. It's really hard. Very, very hard unless you're super disciplined. But most people aren't disciplined. Okay, most people are not disciplined to the, to the extent to give yourself to overcome the flesh. Okay, only way to really, really do. I teach a lot of these things. You know, you, you, you really need to listen to me. I'm not just speaking nonsense here. If you have ears to hear, listen to my advice. Okay, we're here to teach, exhort one another according to the Bible. Okay. I, 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 can, I can boldly tell you I overcame through Christ. Okay, I, I overcame the sins. The Ten Commandments, I overcame through the Kingdom of God, living in, in the Spirit of God, following the uh, Spirit of God. I overcame those things. Okay? I don't covet. I don't hate one another. Okay, I overcame. I forgive. Okay, I don't commit lust. Okay, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't hate anybody. I don't kill anybody, okay? I don't steal. I don't love the 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 the, the money. I'm not I'm not greedy. I'm not looking for fame. I'm here to worship God and nothing else. Worship the Lord. Okay? Time to time if I do fail, if I do fall fall, it will be because I don't pray. It'll be because I'm getting lazy with God. There's nothing, nothing other than that. You know why you're depressed? It's because your goal is not on Christ Jesus. It's your goal is still worry about the things of this world. And your, 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 your focus is on the things of this world, whatever it is. Okay? Whatever your goal is, beside God, your goal is that. You know why you're depressed? You're not prayed up in the Spirit of God. You're not filled with the Holy Spirit. If you're filled with the Holy Spirit, there's this joy. There's this presence of God. God is with you. And you know it and you can feel it. Okay? You know that you know that God is surely in you when you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Only real way to be filled with the Holy Spirit is not being laid hands on by a, somebody anointed, pastor, preacher, whatever. Hey, they need to pray themselves too if they need to be filled. It's not, a, it's not that way. It's you need to seek God in your own time, every single day, 
reading the word, praying the spirit fervently, crying out tears and you know, this is the real biblical way of praying on your knees and crying in tears. This is the only real way. Bible does not just say pray in silence, okay? That's not that's not the Bible way. Bible says cry out unto me. Okay? And Jesus cried in Hebrews 5 7. Him being a son of God, with cry, he had to, he had to with with vehement crying and tears unto the Lord God. He had to cry. And some people say, oh, just this one time. No, it's not one time. He was like that every day. He prayed all night. Many, 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 many times. And he is always going to the mountain to pray. He was giving us a model example. He's like, follow me, how I'm doing it. I'm humble and meek. How, how are you humble and meek and, and, and you know, how, how, how do you become humble and meek? You need to submit to God. Stop living for His. I used to live for myself. I didn't know until I got crushed. Until my dream got crushed. Until I myself got crushed and I got desperate. That's when I sought the Lord and God met me. Okay? Every single person needs to come to their own end. Whether it be sooner or later, you need to come to your end and come to your senses and saying that what I'm seeking is really nothing. It's really vain. What I am is really hopeless without God. You really need to come to that place of hopelessness. Some people will meet God in the jail. Some people will meet God in their most desperate situations. When they're, some people will meet God when they get demon-possessed. Okay, when, when, when troubles follow them and, and when they lose their hope of life, some people will meet them in those places. But that's when you really meet God, when you seek God at that time. Because now you're real desperate. Okay, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy burdened, and I'll give you rest. It's true. It's true. But the sad part is, a lot of Christians who are just doing kind of okay in life, don't really see God. You know, they're going to church and here, this is a danger zone because this is a lukewarm zone. They go to church, they're not doing too bad in life. I mean, they're not too, doing too good, but they're not doing too bad. And they're just like kind of guy and kind of, you know, you know, they never meet God truly because they never get broken before God. You never get crushed before the Lord. So, you know, uh, I'm telling you, faster you give up on yourself, faster God will bless you. Over abundantly. Not just on this earth, but I'm telling you, the heavenly treasures. The treasures in heaven. So whatever you have on this earth, it's all dust. It will all turn to dust. And you're taking nothing. All that money, all that fame, all that wealth that you stored up on earth, guess what? You ain't going to have it. You're not going to have it one day. You're going to lose every single thing. Every single thing. You ain't going to take nothing, bro. You ain't going to take nothing, sister. All that glory, all that good looks, they'll all be turned to dust one day. Trust me, it's coming. And why are you living this world as if you're going to stay here forever or not? Okay? Just for the facts. Okay? The celebrities. The, the, the average um, male living age in America, they said, is about 78 years old. Okay? You don't, you're not supposed to die until like 78 unless you, you get some disease or die early or accidents or whatever, okay? But guess what happens to the celebrities? They die at a much early age, especially the biggest stars, especially the big ones. They don't they don't live like usually don't pass like age fifty or something. Look at Michael Jackson. Okay? I don't know how old it was like maybe like not even fifty, right? Um who's that? Biggest ones. 
I'm telling you, every single one of them are really big. They don't live long. You know why? Because God doesn't, you know, let the idols live forever or live long. Partly is because God hates idols. God cannot stand another God being exalted before him. You don't, you don't like that. Okay? Secondly, it's because sin brings quick death. A lot of sins will make you die early, before your time. Oh yeah, sin will make you die early, for sure. Sin brings a lot of curses, a lot of problems. Yes, it does. It's just, you're just running around in circles, you know, and running after problems after problems. Oh, now you, you finally had that joy of sleeping with the girl that you wanted, and guess what? She brings you a lot of troubles. You break up, you go out with another girl. You sleep with her, and guess what? She brings you another more troubles. Okay? Because of the fame and success or money, whatever. Okay, so you thought you were going to be happy? It actually makes you more empty. And brings more troubles. More bad things. More stress. More. Why do you think Britney Spears shaved her head? Okay? Why do you think so many celebrities, you know, are losing their mind into drugs and alcohol and sex and whatever. Why do you think that that's happening to them? Because that doesn't bring them joy and happiness. Okay, it brings a lot of problems and troubles. So a lot of celebrities, a lot of idols, they die early. Elvis Presley, 40, right? Bob Marley, 30. Jimi Hendrix, 20 some, seven years old, I don't know, very young, okay? If he, because music was supposed to be glorifying God. That was an original design from heaven. And Satan was uh, a music music leader. Okay, he was an angel in charge of music, worship. But he wanted to be worshipped. Okay, and then now devil's just giving that power of forever to the musicians to to worship themselves, to get worship themselves and ultimately to Satan. Okay, so so of course that's what he does. I mean, you look at the uh, stats of those musicians, okay, who are really big. Unless they repented and they start using that to glorify God and to help people, then their fame probably continued on. Okay, and God let them live longer. Like Johnny Cash, he repented of his rocker days because he was sleeping around with women, drink drugs and stuff, and then he repented and changed and he started doing music for God. Okay, here and there, here and there. And then, yeah, he lived pretty long, longer than other celebrities, okay? But those celebrities who don't get it, who don't get this, will eventually die early. Okay? Whether, I don't know, if they sold their soul to the devil, I don't know. Okay? They, they ain't, gonna, ain't gonna get far. So it's all the people who are looking to be famous. You don't get, go far in this kind of circles. You'll be circling round, circle round. Okay? And you might wonder, oh, do I need to sell this? You don't do that. Sell your soul to Jesus Christ and He'll give you a new life. He'll give you everything that you need. Money. He'll give you fame. If you really, truly follow God, He'll give you fame. Yeah. He'll let you know if you truly give your life to God totally. Yeah. He will give you your, your house, your wife, your, your children. He'll bless you. Okay? And then you'll use that blessing for the people and for God in, their, in, the, in turn. You should do that. You should. You have to do that. Actually, you do need to do it because when you when God riches makes you rich and you, you lose yourself and indulge yourself in pleasures, guess, guess what? You you'll also be destroyed by it. You'll also be destroyed, and then in the end you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven because you're rich toward yourself and not rich toward God. God will take away your life. Okay, this is all biblical term that I'm using, and this is in the Bible. Okay, Bible does Jesus does say. Hey, how hard is, is a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God? Harder than a camel to go through an eye of a needle. You can't go in. 
You can't. I'm telling you the truth, man. I'm telling you. Jesus said, verily, verily, I tell you the truth. Okay, he really said, okay? And he really talked about hell as being a scary, burning, fiery place where a worm doesn't die. And people say, well, how can a loving God, hey, God is love. But the other side of God, he's a judge. And he's the judge which will punish the wicked. And we are, basically, we're all wicked. We're all wicked. I'm like a, I'm, a, I'm like a tr trash in the trash can, living with the trash, living with, looking after the trash of this world. I was like that, and God took, took a piece of trash that was me. Just happened to change me, and to wash me, and to cleanse me, and to change me, to use me. Okay? And it's by His grace. I thank God that He did that. You know, but I was crushed. I had to be crushed. I had to be molded. I'm still being molded. I haven't got... I haven't reached no since and, and nobody's nobody have reached. Okay? Everybody in every single aspect, God has continued to deal with them. Now the more stubborn you're against the wind, okay, of God, the less you're gonna be changed, the less you're gonna have victory with God. Now the more willing you're you're willing to be pushed and to submit to God. And to follow where he wants you to go, where he blows you, the quickly you're, you'll be changed. The quickly you'll reach your destination. And you'll find out in the end, it's not about you. It's really not about me. It's really not about us. It's about him. It's about for him. We're here for him. Okay? I'm telling you, man, you, you, you check this. The stats of the rock stars, Michael Jackson, Prince just died before 50 years. I don't know how old it is actually, but anyway, early death before 78. Okay, died. I'm telling you, you know, uh, don't don't live like that. It's a waste. You know, come to the senses. Okay, you wanna your your life's journey. You know the goal for your journey is is to please Him that sent us here. It's not to please ourselves. Okay? So what I really suggest to you, if you did still listen to this, to hear uh, Justin Bieber or all the celebrities or whatever, okay? Give that up. Okay, give that up to God. Why do you need to, do you need to be Saving more money for what? Huh? For more cars, more money. What is it all that for? Give that career up. Rather, I, I suggest you seek God and do what He wants to do. God gave you the talent. I mean, you used to have beautiful, uh, good singing talent for God. Okay? Use that good looks to glorify God, to, to be a preacher. Okay? Not, not to... You know, I don't know, you know. Be an impact to the world so that the world will turn to God. Use your talents for Him. Why are you using for the world and the devil and the Satan and all these kind of self-glorifying idol worshiping junk? Why? Come to your senses, man. Use it for God. You are made for Him. It's time that you start living for Him. Okay? Because narrow is a path that leads to heaven, leads to life. But broad is a wet path that many people go that leads to destruction. And, and the broad path is living for your own life. That's the broad path. The, the narrow path, the hard to enter, that not many people go through is not living for yourself. This is living for God. And not many people follow it. Neither not many people enter in. That means people who are going to be saved is few because not many people make decision to totally live for God. Okay? Deny yourself. Pick up your cross daily and follow God. If you don't live like this, I'm sorry. 
you will miss heaven. You will miss heaven. Okay? When well, you're saved by grace, yeah, it is, it is by grace. It is by grace. It's not by your works. I'm not saved by my works, okay? Works is just showing me that I have faith in God. I'm not saved by the works. But without works, that shows your faith is dead. So if you have no works coming out of you every day, uh, something for God, that means your faith is dead. It's really dead. You're not seeking God. No, no prayers being made for people. No, nothing coming out from you. Uh, um, no charity. No, just, just all about you. Even the ministers of God, they need to check themselves whether they're being praised instead of Jesus Christ, whether they're giving glory to themselves or whether they're really giving glory to God. I need to check myself. And I repent. When I did that, I repent. You know, I have to do it myself. So I'm accountable for my own life. And so is you, and so is everybody accountable for their own life. I'm telling you, don't seek that vain glory. What, for fans? When fans are cheering you, they're worshiping you. When people start worshiping Peter, Paul, or whoever, they're like, don't worship me. They, they rip their clothes because they're like, no, I don't want to be cursed. Because you do become a curse when you become an object of worship. So don't glorify yourself. Your life is just a vapor, okay? It will go away. All those things will go away. It just, it will turn into dust. Everything will be melted and burned up by fire. Except the work that you've done for Christ with God. You want to be truly free? Watch my other videos and do those things. That is because everything I teach, I teach the principles of God. I teach the methods that are based upon the principles of God, and they do work, okay? My friend who was a uh, uh, demon possessed because he did so much drugs or whatever, and fornication, he finally got delivered because he prayed in tongues in the Spirit of God for tens of hours a day, every single day, and all those cursing thoughts in his head because of the demons or his flesh, whatever, all went away. And he became free. Nobody had to cast out demons for them. Okay, they, they wouldn't even leave when, when we, us we would cast out the demons. Not everything would leave. But because he sought God, and he's prayed in tongues and, and fire and, you know, with, with fire, you know, all day long until his neck, you know, went out and his voice was hoarse. God delivered him himself, okay? He just basically got self-delivered just because he submitted to God's will and prayed with all his might. There are people who, who don't do the, the things that I tell them to do. They don't trust. Hey, don't trust me. Trust the what is written. Fasting and praying, man, that's the only way. And I told you these methods. There are people who really do it and then get freed. And there are people who don't do it and they're still the same. What's the point of listening if you don't going to do it? Do it. All right? Do it for yourself. So in the end, you will be rewarded in heaven. Okay? And to do it for Jesus. Because He really loves you. And He really cares for you. He, he wants you to know the truth. And that he, wants to, he wants to see you be freed from all those depression, oppression, of the bondages of this world. He wants to see, he wants to see victorious and impacting the kingdom, okay? Uh, yeah, so that's that, man. God bless you guys. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, thank you, Jesus, for your word. Thank you for your advices. I just ask that you please help these people, Father God. Please save all the celebrities and all the people, Father God, that you want to be saved, whoever is watching, I just ask that you please, Lord, save us, Lord. Save us, God.
do everything in your power to chastise us and save us as you have chastised me Father I just ask that you please chastise them and bring them to repentance all the way until the day when you come back or, or when we do go or when we die and go to you Father God I just ask that you please Lord change us continually and bless each of my, everybody who comes to you Father God with the knowledge of God with the meeting of God with the, with the resurrection of Jesus Christ living in their body Help them to be resurrected to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you.